In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. God, who have prepared for those who love you good things 
which no eye can see. Fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises, which surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Wisdom has built a house. She has set up her seven columns. She has dressed her meat, mixed her wine, yes, she has spread the table. She has sent out her maidens. She calls from the heights out over the city. Let whoever is simple turn in here. To the one who lacks understanding, she says, come, eat of my food and drink of the wine I have mixed. Forsake foolishness that you may live. Advance in the way of understanding. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I'm speaking to you Gentiles. Inasmuch as I am the apostle of the Gentiles, I glory in my ministry in order to make my race jealous and thus save some of them. For if their rejection is the reconciliation of the world, what will their acceptance be but life from the dead? For the gifts and the call of God are irrevocable. 
just as you once disobeyed God but have now received mercy because of their disobedience, so they have now disobeyed in order that by virtue of the mercy shown to you, they too may now receive mercy. For God delivered all to disobedience that he might have mercy upon all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew glory to you o Lord at that time Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon and behold a Canaanite woman of that district came and called out have pity on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But Jesus did not say a word in answer to her. Jesus' disciples came and asked him, Send her away, for she keeps trying and calling out after us. He said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman came and did Jesus homage, saying, Lord, help me. He said in reply, It is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She said, Please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. Then Jesus said to her in reply, O oh, woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And the woman's daughter was healed from that hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This woman will remember forever the story, the experience. We all human beings live, learn, and perhaps even change through our experiences. She could gather people and tell them the master has come to tire to this city. They wanted to know about Jesus, the healer. And he said, don't take care of her. 
This is what the disciple says. They didn't even know what was Jesus doing out there. He doesn't have to explain. For us, when we show deeply this magnificent chapter 15 of Matthew, perhaps we get a glimpse what being Christian, Catholics, is about. She did glimpse Jesus the healer. She called out to him, have pity on me, Lord. She wasn't praying for her. She was praying for someone else. What a trait. And a lesson on prayer. We always pray for our own perfection, for our own good life. Seldom we learn that the Lord Jesus is hearing her because she, he knew she was play, praying for her daughter. Apparently he ignores her, but he really sensed her love. Send her away, a man grunted. Jesus didn't. After all, what was he doing there? What is the teaching? Jesus, the Jew, who could not feed a dog, who was raised to think that they were different, they were the other, is learning God a lesson of compassion. He doesn't send her away. Something in him has changed. At that moment, the heart of this woman swelled up with hope. Maybe. Could the mercy of God of Israel extend even north of the border? Hope and love made the mother of this sick, paranoid daughter that was making her life, the mother's life, miserable and the home an inferno. The hope and the love of this mother persisted. She would not give up. She felt she fell to her knees, recognizing the God of Israel, and cried out, Help me, sir. She said that she'll never forget the look on Jesus' eyes. How gently Jesus said, It is not right for me to do this. The Hebrew idiomatic expression escapes us in this culture, especially at this time of the year where we are asking people to adopt a pet. But it's not really what it means today, it's what it meant then. Up to down, he thought he was only there for the people of Israel that were walking away from religion. And he discovers the faith in the him. Even the little dogs, the puppies, the woman says, can get domesticated. What a beautiful expression. And at that moment, the daughter was healed. 
that woman, that non-Hebrew daughter of God, will never forget those eyes. And until the day she died, she told everyone about God's mercy she found in Jesus, the Jew. But that Jew went there because God had motivated him to expand the beauty of the Torah, the only God to all people. She found in Jesus the true God. What a prayer that one must learn of humility that changed God in Jesus. Let us think of a time when you and I persisted in prayer. What was it that made us keep asking? I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker Make of heaven and earth, earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, through God from through God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, and with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. On this 20th Sunday of Ordinary Time, let us ask the Lord from the bottom of our heart, Lord, have mercy on us. For the whole Christian people, that we may outreach from the abundance of the divine grace instilled in us through baptism the goodness of the good Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy on us. For those who do not yet believe, let us implore the giver of all spiritual gifts let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy, mercy on, us. on us. For those who are holding public offices, that they walk straight life of wisdom with the power of God given to any authority, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy on us. For those of our brothers and sisters who cannot be in our celebration, not even have access to this recorded Mass, that they may experience the goodness of the Lord Jesus, who always is moved 
true compassion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy on us. For ourselves and for our intentions. Incline your merciful ear, O Lord, and hear our prayer. Listen in kindness to the supplication of those who call on you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray together that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of the Holy Church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, his death we celebrate with love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And his coming in glory we await when on wavering hope. And so with angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim. Are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the showers and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Thomas our Bishop, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who in, art heaven, in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, be done on, earth on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily, daily bread, bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we, we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. us, and lead us, us not into, into temptation, temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, we pray. Graciously grant peace to our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I not am worthy, worthy to you should enter, enter under my roof, but Let only say, say the, the word, word and, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Bread of life from heaven, your blood. Let us pray. Made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conformed to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co-heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you.
the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Eucharist ascended, we may go in peace. Thanks be to God.